What is up everybody, my name's Shannon, and today we're diving into a Grixis Steal Your Deck Deck. That's right, it's a deck 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 deck. Um, <laughs> no, we have pretty much every card that I could find that allows us to take the opponent's stuff in some way, shape, form, or manner, right? So we have Zeratzan, we got Covetous Urge, we got Mythos, we got Rankle. Rankle's mostly because you want to take their stuff with like Claim and with their Crowan and then sack it with Rankle, right? Um, you got Lull Mages, you got Protean, which doesn't actually take their stuff, it just sort of copies their stuff, but yeah, it's, still, it's in the same boat, right? Anyways, down here in the bottom end, we have one copy of Blood Chiefs. It's going to act as some easy, cheap removal. Also, we can target Planeswalkers, which is super beneficial. Four copies of Village Rights for that Claim combo, for that Crow and War combo, right? Claim, because we're trying to take our opponent's stuff, so yes, we're playing Claim. Um, Protean Thaumaturger is actually really good in this deck. It procs off of your QR Best of Sea God. Um, we did initially have, there's a five mana, I believe it's five mana, enchantment called Enthralling Hold that allows you to take control of one of your opponent's stuff that is tapped. Now, initially I had this in the deck. I tried, I tried so many games, we never ended up actually playing it, but uh, you know, if you want to, there's the name, there's the card, I think it's an uncommon, so it is still very playable by all, but that helps with the Protein Thaumager, and then as well, the Acroan War helps, right, so we, before we had three things to help proc it, now we just have the two, not to mention the fact that we also have the Mythos though, right, so you can have Mythos come down and copy the Acroan or copy the Cura, and then that'll also proc the Protein. Anyways, two copies of a Heartless Act to remove some of our opponent's stuff. Shatter Skull for more removal slash land action. Saloon D to help us find our stilling cards, right? Didn't say please for some counter magic that'll also help with our lull mages, which, you know, needs eight cards if we want to reduce the cost by three. And honestly, just with the removal and the didn't say please, you'll generally get there, right? Mythos to help us copy our opponent's stuff. Hagra Mauling for more removal while also being a land. <clears throat> Rankle, we sort of explained earlier, you take your opponent's stuff, then you sacrifice it. Uh, Storm's Wrath for some big board removal. The Acroan War is actually really good. You get to gain control of target creature the opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. So for a good, you know, two turns, you're able to swing back at your opponent, which is really strong. Covetous Urge, not only does it exile whatever card you choose, you get to play it. So you're getting rid of your opponent's, you know, Croxes or whatever escape cards they have, and then you're playing it back for yourself. Zerath Sand, of course, can just steal stuff easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then we have Kiora Best Sea God for those, you know, big old Krakens for the non-land stealing action. And then, of course, the tap action is pretty cool too. Anyways, all in all, it was a very fun deck. We played it today and uh, managed to steal a lot of stuff. So, you know, had a lot of fun with it, got a lot of Krakens down, and... Uh, yeah, did did some did some work and made a lot of people angry. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. So far, if you've enjoyed the video or if you're enjoying the channel, please be sure to leave a like down below, comment in the comment section for any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns that you may have on this video, future videos, or past videos. Now, if you're new here and you're looking to help support the channel through a completely free means and just join up with one of the dopest MTG communities there is, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane to me. I can't even wrap my head around. 10,000 people saying like, yeah, I guess we'll see more from this guy, right? Anyways, hit the subscribe button, blah, 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 blah. Almost made it all the way through. Hit the button, hit the bell icon. Let's hop into some magic stealing action. Porco Mundo. Porco Mundo. Sure that means something in some language. Um, no red mana, all red spells. That's not doable, right? I mean, we do have the fabled, but... Ah, fuck it. Let's keep it. Let's see see what happens. Meyer Triton for the opponent. Okay, nice, easy, clean. What do they have over here? Phoenix of Ash? So it's probably... Oh. Jund. Interesting. I'll take that block. Whoa, Strata. Whoa, Strata. <laughs> Alright, so... 
Probably grab red mana with that fabled, right? So we can use our crowin if we happen to hit another land. We'll let this happen. Now, if we can use our crow, and then we can copy their woe strider with our thaumaturger, and then we can claim their woe strider, right? Making us discard, making us discard. What do we discard? Didn't say please. Because it, it would it would be a while before we got to play that. All right, so I need some land here. Give me the land. Okay, well, I mean, that does still work for us, right? Sure. Sure, I mean, they get the scrub, but we still get to deal damage straight through now, so. Mythos and Akiura. I need a land! <laughs> Why did I go add all those lands into my deck if we still weren't going to draw any? Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Alright, so we want double blue. Don't want to use a crow in yet. Don't want to actually use any of this stuff yet, so... Just get in with you and call it a turn. Land, land, land. Motherfucker. <laughs> We're not going to see any more lands now. Hmm. So I could copy their... Or what's it called? I don't really like the idea of that, though. <laughs> Can't believe they just milled us three fucking lands in a row. Well, hopefully I didn't have to... Hear that annoying motorcyclist. Alright, let's see it. Do they croaksa? Bum bum bum. If they do, what do we discard? A Phoenix of Ash. So I just counter that. <laughs> I want a bigger creature. Sorry, the Phoenix is not quite uh, appealing enough to me. More land, sure, that does put us closer to Kiora. Opponent's getting slapped around by a little 1-1. One -one. <laughs> it was great for us, probably not so much for them. They return to land. Fiend Artisan's not that big of a deal. We can actually just use Blood Chiefs on it. I don't really want to copy their Phoenix. I really don't. <laughs> Give me something better. I've become too greedy. You motherfucker. <laughs> They're just refusing to play any of their big stuff. <clears throat> Come on, give me something. Give me something good. Give me a Kroxa. Something. 
Oh, here it comes. Finally. Jeez. So what are we discarding here then? The claim? Oh my god. <laughs> they said, psych. It's a cobra. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Didn't say please in another land. Another land does give us Kiora. We'll keep it like this then. We have plenty of red mana. Let's go blue. Kiora. Now this will also proc the Protean. So we'll get the 8 8. And you, my friend, you can turn into a Phoenix. <laughs> now we have something to take out their Phoenix with. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? We're going to Mythos. We're going to Mythos this Kiora. Right. That's pretty good. Underworld Breach. Hello. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> but, like, you weren't even playing your cards that you had before from your graveyard. You know? Like, you got a Kroxa. Didn't they have an Ox over there? Yeah, an Ox in your graveyard. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't need that yet. <sighs> oh, well. Here it comes, the Kroxa. The reason I discarded the Akroan War there, we know we're not going to draw a land, which means we can't possibly play Mythos plus Akroan. And if they have a Kroxa, then, well, they're going to make a discard come next turn as long as it lives, right? So they're swinging in with their Phoenix. I think we take that block, right? No! Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Yikes. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so yeah, Mythos. And we still have Manifor didn't say please. Bam, they're down to seven. Next turn, we will retap everything thanks to our other uh, Cure Best to See God, right? Yeah, so I should not have blocked with my protein there. I could have copied their Kroxa when that entered and then could have dealt potentially lethal, right? We would have swung in if they had... Oh, man. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> at least at least we're having a good game here, right? We're having a good, fun match. Um, the opponent's getting to do stuff. We're getting to do stuff, you know? I like how since we copied Cura, it was like, you shall not have the same name. <laughs> it's just blank over here. Alright. Good old Palu Krynos. Psych. <laughs> they might play down a bull here. Ty Merritt. Well, it's still a GG. Still a GG. Generally, if you can play two Kiora, best of sea gods, back to back, or, you know, play one, copy it, it's a GG. Thanks for that. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> East Dragon. Nice. Does that mean I can be the West Dragon? Because I'm Sarkhan. You're on the right, I'm on the left. We'll see. There goes that ambulance. I think they're going the other way this time. You know, I like this hand, but I'm also a little worried. I think we keep. It's this card that's throwing me off, right? The the rest are kind of okay. It's, well, these two, I guess. We'll keep it.
All right, so we have our new, fresh, awesome, colorific lands. Might I say, kick-ass art. You know, I might should get into this story. <laughs> I just feel like I haven't gotten into it so far, you know? So it's like, if I want to get into it, I'm really going to have to deep dive. Anyways, we hit another land there that'll allow the Fable to come down untapped, so that's good. Blood Chiefs, interesting, interesting. I was thinking about going for the Hogger Mauling there, just go ahead and get the tap land out of the way, but we'll just keep it Blue City for right now. We will play down the River Glide, or rather Lava Glide pathway come next turn. Really love this artwork too, these, oh, so beautiful. Props to uh, Kieran Yanner. Really love that uh, that pathway. Mythos of Aluna, what, what? Cool, more stuff to steal our opponent's stuff with. Now, what if they use an Iron Crag feat here? Do we counter it, or do we wait and counter the thing that they cast with the Iron Crag feat? I think you wait and counter the thing that they cast with the Iron Crag feat, right? Leyline Tyrant. Okay, so I can, I can Mythos that come next turn. Ah, uh, we're just gonna counter it. If I let it hit, we're gonna be a turn behind on it hitting, right? Anyways, that Fabled will grab us our first black mana, so we will have access to uh, Blood Chiefs, at least the first form of it. We won't be able to kick it as that do, that, that do require. <laughs> as that does require uh essentially hogger mauling's cost right four mana two two uh two solid black cost and two colorless okay so we see we see what's up with this it's a phoenix super unfortunate they have that uh the exile card there so our little mages isn't going to be nearly as good am i going to mythos their phoenix probably not Probably not. I don't feel like we need Storm's Wrath quite yet either. So we will still grab black mana here. And we can at least drop ha Hagra, goodness, if need be. Claim the first, <clears throat> goodness. Claim the firstborn, we could take the Phoenix, but we don't have any way of sacrificing it as of yet. So if I miss those copy Phoenix, we don't get the counter on it, I don't think. We can't blood chiefs it, can we? Why is this thing lighting up? <laughs> Alright, um... I don't really want to mythos it, if I'm being honest. I don't really want to mythos the phoenix. Brash Chauncer. Now that's something worth mythosing, right? Of course we can also just use, uh... Oh no, we can't. Right. So we should Mythos the Brash Chauncer, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Why does it keep saying I can do this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't say, Blood Chiefs. There's the Iron Crag. We knew, we knew they had it. All right, so we're at five mana. We still need two more for the Kiora. Fiery, what, what? They're about to deal some serious damage. Phoenix can deal nine damage on its own, which means Brash Hunter swinging in can deal damage as well. Oh wait, that might be lethal, right? Nope, just three, okay. Right, because I don't deal triple damage to them. They just deal triple damage to me. <laughs> 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 of 
claim isn't going to allow us to also use Storm's Wrath. I could put this down and try to lull Mage's Domination there, Brash Taunter. They only have one card over there, though, so can't. We could only take the Phoenix. Storm's Wrath will end up killing us. Damn it, we don't have any way to sacrifice. <laughs> All right, that's GG. Low Bob. That's good. Nobody likes a high Bob. It's all about that low Bob. So we kept this. This is a, a rather scary hand to keep. I'm not going to lie because we don't have any immediate things we can do. <laughs> Zero immediate answers for whatever may come our way. Now we do have the enthralling hold, which we could potentially get down at some point in the future. There's our didn't say please. Happy to see that. If we could find some red mana. That, oh, you know what? You know what I'm just thinking about now, actually? I don't know that I solved the mana issues with this deck. I think I, I didn't add any pathways or anything of the sorts there. So, anyways, we're going to didn't say please their card there. Mill them up. Something nice. So, target opponent reveals their hands. Choose an online player. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. Cool beans. That's what we like to see. So we'll throw this down, throw this, see what you got over there. Tor Bran. Uh, what you, what you got in your graveyard? Nah, give me the Tor Bran. Give me the Tor Bran. <laughs> so next turn, we'll play down Tor Bran. We'll probably throw down Hogger Mauling Tapped, and then we can use Enthralling Hold after that to steal one of our opponent's creatures. So that'll be nice. Nice. Meanwhile, they're just going to use their little goblin tunneler. Tunneler. All right. Fear your own Torbran. Now, they do have a fire prophecy, and we know that, so we can't just go willy nilly block and aru with the Torbran. So. Flame spill? What the hell? Who plays this, this stuff? Who plays this kind of magic? That's fine, that's fine. We got enthralling hold. I'm gonna hold your thralls accountable. Now they can use fire prophecy on their own Rimrock here, but you know, at that point, they're really doing the work for us. <laughs> All right, one more mana, we'll be up to the cure of best of sea god. That'll be good. Good, good stuff, good eats. And they're only dealing, you know, one point of damage per turn we can we can do it all right so we are going i could i guess have put minions return on goblin tunneler and then use cure best to see god but we'll wait so we let this happen ember cleave what what that's gonna hurt just a little bit we're down to seven uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if y'all heard that. There's an ambulance driving on by. Anyways, we got a big old 8-8 with Hexproof. Take that, opponent. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Hey, they got the thanks working. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, you know what's about to suck for the opponent? <laughs> well, I... let's let's wait on it, actually. Let's just crack in and let's wait. Smackaroo. Bam, down to 12. In turn, and we will come back with the Zerith Sand on their turn. Annex. So if they had a haster there, what we could have done is minions return, then Zareth, right? Do we have eight? No, we have seven. Oh, one mana off. Always one mana off, huh? All right, so flash this guy in. We will lull mages that annex. They are at eight, so that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy kind of stuff. You know, I don't appreciate that, but it's uh, it's okay. 
Thanks for that. So now I have that I can equip. And I use this. The three. Thanks. This. Oh no, wait. Ah, I should have put it here. Oops. They got it. They got it. It's okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll put it on the annex. Yeah, okay. Bearded deer. I've heard of a bearded dragon, but never of a bearded deer. Interesting. We'll keep this. We do have the claim village rights combo, so that's good. Another land? I won't say no. I will not say no to that. It's a Lotus deck. I wonder if it's Lotus Mill. Nope, that's a Plains. Maybe Lotus Cycling? Mm-hmm. Looks a lot like it. Looks a lot like it. So we could go ahead and steal that fox, or we could get down our Thaumager, try to uh, get it later. Lola, you gotta quit, sweetheart. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get down the thaumaturg. Thauma, you know what? The protein. Let them build up that fox for us a little bit more before we take it, sack it, all that good stuff. Wow, they're just cycling away all their creatures. <clears throat> well, not opposed to it. No blocks. No block arenos. Another claim the firstborn. All right, well, let's hit him with the scry. Fable passage, sure, more land. More land never hurt my feelings. Thanks. Now we do have claim and we have a rankle, so we could Play down Rankle, claim, make them sacrifice whatever creature we claim. Or we can just go for the low Mages. Thankfully, since it is cycling, they're kind of helping us get to that 8-card limit that we need for stuff, right? Of course, Fox is just a one teeny tiny little one-mana card anyways, so... Anyways, we'll swing in with the Rankle. Bam. Get rid of one of our fableds here. All right, opponent's down to 11. <clears throat> They do have 11 cards in Graveyard, which means the Zenith Flare would hurt my feelings a lot in my face, probably even more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, very nice. Now, the unfortunate thing is if they have another Zenith, we're kind of screwed. We want to get rid of their other Zenith Flare if at all possible. Let's look for something here. Ah, oh, that would have been it. <laughs> we'll have to hope they don't have the Zenith. If not, we can we can get in there with the Covetous. See what there is to see. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Now, what can we take from them that would be good for us? <laughs> They're cycling up a storm.
Let's see what they got here. Footfall. <laughs> what do they have in the graveyard? Anything we might want. Zenith Lair, we could cast, but we don't have any cycling in our graveyard, so it wouldn't really benefit us. Boon. We could cast Boon. But if we take their Footfall from hand, they don't have any cards that they can cast from hand, right? Yeah, let's take that. Of course, I guess we could have taken Boon, made him discard, right? So, opponents down to 13. Again, we're hoping no Zenith Flare from him. Damn it, why'd they have to hit Cycling? <laughs> land, land, no, land, land. Oh, beautiful. All right, so they won't get to play their Lotus either. We could cycle the Footfall Cradle. Cr cradle? <laughs> Crater. Um, grab extra blue mana. <clears throat> Zareth Sun. I do want to use the Zareth Sun. But do we just wait? So make him discard. Damn it, always with the cycling. <laughs> Alright, please no Zenith Flare. Please no Zenith Flare. Fuck. <laughs> I tried so hard. 